Hey, you have the new clicker, almost exactly like Melanie's. If you prefer to read fine print directions that you'll find in the box, you can go ahead and stop the video now. But if you'd find it helpful to have someone explain how to make the most of your clicker, well, let's get started. First, notice the clicker comes with a cable. Plug it into USB and it should charge within a couple minutes. If the LED starts to flash slowly, that means the battery is low. On the side of the clicker is the on-off button. Make sure you keep it off to preserve the battery. The side with the USB plug also has a pen annotation and eraser slash volume button. I'll get to those in a little bit. Um, I believe these only work after you install the software on your computer. Again, I'll get to that later. Uh, other buttons on the clicker are the uh, forward and backward buttons and what they call the pointer key. You'll need to take out this dongle, aka USB receiver, and plug it into any USB port on your computer. It's easy to lose, so do keep track of it. If you don't install the Norwe software, the clicker is going to work just fine as a way to go forward and backwards on your slides, but the special features will not be enabled. At this point, I suggest you open a slideshow in PowerPoint or Google Slides, Prezi or Keynote, and suggest that you can present uh, you know, going forward and back with the clicker without adding the software yet. If it isn't working, try double-clicking the pointer key, which will switch the device between mouse click mode and forward back mode. Moving on with the software. You're going to need to go to norwe.com to get the software. If the site doesn't look readable to you, click on English in the upper right-hand corner. And then under the Support tab, you'll see Downloads. Download and install the software for Windows, Mac, or Android. Now, you may need to give the software permission on your computer. I know on my Mac, none of the special features were working until I allowed the software to monitor input from the keyboard, allow screen recording, and accessibility. So your computer is watching out for your privacy, and as I said, you may need to allow the Norway software access before it will work properly. Each computer system is different. Now you may also need to pair the clicker with the receiver, the dongle. The software will walk you through that process pretty clearly. You'll click the pair button in the software, turn the clicker on, try the buttons, and you should see a pair OK message. They have more information in the customized screen too. Just make sure you have the model set correctly. You're using the N95S clicker. So once the software is installed, uh, it needs to be running anytime you want the special features of the clicker. So if you use the clicker often, you can even have it start up automatically when your computer starts. So what are those special features that you get when running the software? There are several that seem most useful to me. And as I said, you'll double click the pointer key to cycle through all the different cursors. And you can control the details of each of them in the Norwe presentation software. For example, the color of the laser or the amount of zoom in or how much darker the background is when you use the highlight cursor. Now, if you feel like you're pointing at a location far away from where the laser pointer is appearing on your screen, try pointing at the screen again and then clicking the pointer button. That seems to kind of reset it. And keep this in mind anytime you're using those special cursors. Let's start with the laser cursor. It isn't really a laser, it's, it's just creating a colored dot on the screen. This is kind of nice in a way because real lasers won't show up on TV screens, for example, as I know some of you are using, but they do with this device. And again, you can change the size and the color in the Norway software. The next two couple are some of my favorites, the zoom cursor and the highlight cursor. 
Again, double click on the pointer button to switch between the various modes. Now, while you can change the size of these cursors in the software, you can actually do it on the um, clicker as well. You can change the size of the zoom cursor or the highlight cursor by holding down the pointer button and then using the forward and backward buttons. You'll see the size change on the screen. Now, if you click the annotate pin button on the side, you can actually draw on the screen. Um, click the erase button, which is also a volume button, to erase everything on the screen. Now, the other feature of the eraser slash volume button is to increase or decrease the volume in your presentation. Just click and hold the eraser button down and then move the clicker up to increase, move the clicker down to decrease the volume of uh, any video or music that's, that's playing. So this video explains the majority of the information that you'll find in the fine print directions and in the software itself. I didn't explore some of the things like the timer and vibration features yet. If you do, let me know what you learn. I'd love to hear more. If you have questions, make sure you read over all the directions um, on screen and in the fine print to see if your question might be answered there. If it isn't, email me and I'll see what I can figure out. Hey, enjoy your new presentation clicker.